Bueno, Salvador Cabañas. Everyone here knows the quality of Salvador Cabañas. He was one of the best Paraguayan players we've produced. He was really important, not just for the national team, but for the whole of Paraguayan football. He was really loved by the people and his teammates. He was a big loss to the game. This is him when I was top scorer in the Copa Libertadores. Best team of the year, forward Salvador Cabañas, Club America. Salvador Cabañas was one of the finest South American players of his generation, whose career was tragically cut short. He rose to prominence at his boyhood club, 12th of October in Itagua, with performances that quickly attracted interest across the continent. I started out at Club 12th of October. It's from this city, very close by. The ground is roughly one kilometer from here. My family would always come and see me play because the stadium is so near. After three years in Paraguay, Cabañas moved to Chile and then Mexico, where in 2006, age 25, he signed for the country's most successful side, Club America. It proved to be the perfect fit. His prolific form, domestically and on the continent, saw him named South America's Footballer of the Year in 2007. Playing at the Azteca is very different. It has a huge pitch and you almost can't see each other. When you're there, you look at it and think it's impossible for a Paraguayan, a foreigner, to be with such a team. I was the first foreigner to be top scorer with Club America, and that made me happy. It was truly beautiful to do so well for that team. By now, Cabañas was an integral player on the international stage. He scored six times as Paraguay qualified for the 2010 FIFA World Cup and was set to star in one of Paraguay's strongest ever squads. We qualified for the World Cup very quickly, and we did really well back then. The team was strong, not just me, the whole squad. 2010 promised to be a glittering year, but one night in Mexico City would have life-changing consequences. On January the 25th, after an argument in a nightclub, Salvador Cabañas was shot in the head. His career at the highest level was over. The tragedy happened when I was at Dortmund. My father called me at five o'clock in the morning and I knew it wasn't going to be good news. When he told me he had been shot in the head, I thought he must have died. Then I found out he was in a coma. So my family and I began to pray that it wouldn't be too serious and that he'd be able to survive. Having to go through what he did was obviously terrible for him, his teammates, and all Paraguayans who loved him. The shot affected many things. It affected my vision and my memory. But the most important thing is that I recovered fully. But the bullet is still inside my head. It can't be taken out because it's too dangerous. And if I wanted to play again now, I would have to have it removed. Initially, I said that I was going to come back. I'd always promised my family that I'd play professional football again. Salvador Cabañas would realize this promise by returning to Itagua on 12th of October. I played for them again, and I was team captain. When I returned, we were promoted to the top flight. After that, I decided to retire, and I'm happy and content. What I want now is to pass on everything I've learned over the years, which is what I'm doing. I'm at a football academy in a small town nearby called Capiata. So I'm with them, and I'm general manager, and I'm also helping the first team. Not everyone survives what happened to me, or recovers in the way I have. So I am lucky, and I'm here enjoying it with my people, my family, and with you as well.